okay, I think it's working. I'm not sure. Hello everyone, I am Sabrina and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to have another nice cup of coffee and again my cup says the same thing. Do not worry, be happy. <laughs> We gotta try, right? So I'm gonna have a sip now. Oh, it is a heaven, you guys. I just, I love my coffee, I really do. So today, we're going to have a little coffee and chat session. And I've got a card here written with all the things I'm gonna discuss. There's a lot of things. <laughs> I'm going to start with uh, something that um, I was giggling about after because I have uh, had a few requests and it got me stumped thinking hmm and I thought right I need to do something I don't want to do which is watch myself on playback but then it kind of Oh, like, like a little light bulb moment, thinking, oh, right, now that makes sense. So I've had a few requests, because see the dolls here? Some people ask to see where the patterns came from. So I've done that. And then I had another request saying, uh, a few requests actually, saying, Love your guinea pigs in the background. Would love to make some for such and such and such and such. Could you share the pattern with us? And this is when I was, hmm, guinea pigs. I know I don't have any guinea pigs behind me. Do I? So I, I watched the video where people saw the guinea pigs. <laughs> And I think it's that. There. Right? This is what people are looking at. Is that it? <laughs> They're not guinea pigs, guys. They're not. I know they kind of look like they are, but I want to make some now. I so want to make some. I found a link and I shared it in a previous video. And I... I'm gonna make some because, as you know, I love guinea pigs. So I've got, I will show you what it is, though. They're not guinea pigs. They are yarn balls. Yes, they are. They were sock yarns that I showed before. And I'm currently making a shawl and some socks out of them. So there's this one, head over heels. This is one of the balls. This is a pair of socks I will make. And I started the shawl with the other one, this one. And it's still head over heels by Stylecraft. And it really is amazing. But but it, they are not <laughs> guinea pigs. I know from afar they kind of look it. Let's see again. Yeah, they're cuddling to each other, aren't they? Yeah, they kind of look like guinea pigs when you look from afar. Well, they are there. <laughs> but they're not guinea pigs, you guys. So, I uh, will pause now and I will go to the next segment. So, the reason why I have to pause now and again uh, this videoing is because my computer is being a giant of a nightmare. It, uh, after a while, the sound might distort, so I might start to talk like, you know, normal, and then my voice goes low and slow, like that. Or sometimes it just does the opposite, or sometimes the sound stops. And then what happens is that the audio starts to catch up. So I might talk properly, normally, but the sound is well behind. So I'm, and the sound comes later. And it's a total nuisance. So 
Next thing I will discuss is over here in the UK, we have a TV show called Dragon's Den where some business people do some pitches with their businesses and see if they can get some contracts out of the den, um, the people in there. And I love this show, I love it. I think in the USA, the show would the show equivalent would be Shark Tank. I don't know. I've Googled it and I am not a hundred percent sure, but I think it is Shark Tank. So for the USA people, they might know what I'm talking about. If not, I would recommend to watch Dragon's Den. They are amazing. So uh, when they were doing their show, there was a guy in there that was promoting his chocolate and I thought, ooh, although he did not get a contract, the dragons in there couldn't get enough of it and there were all kinds of different flavors. And there was uh, chocolate, whatever you named it, it was there. And so I went quickly on their site to order it, right, because I wanted some. I wanted chocolate with flavor of coffee in it because I you know my coffee you know it is it's my thing but guess what it was sold out and everything else was sold out except my second favorite which is uh, it is salted caramel well you know what I received it on Saturday I ordered it many many weeks ago maybe a couple of months something like that and I was slowly starting to give up on receiving this chocolate but like I just said I received it on Saturday now we'll show you the how it looks so this is it this is called pure heavenly 43% cocoa milk chocolate alternative salted caramel flavor, dairy free, only 2% sugar, palm oil free, gluten free, soy free. Look at this. Salted caramel. So guess what I will be doing shortly? I honestly can't wait to try this chocolate, you guys. I am just so super excited. Honestly, I'm going to have to go back on their site and see if I can get the chocolate one. And another one that was not available, I can't remember which one, but my son was very interested in it. So I'll see if I can get it. It is called Pure Heavenly. There we are. So maybe if you want to check it out yourself, go right ahead. They are based in the UK. Somewhere. I don't remember where. But somewhere. <laughs> so in one of my previous videos, I shared with you guys that I've got so many embarrassing moments. <laughs> well, I've got another one to add. And... I am super embarrassed to tell you about it now, but hopefully people will giggle with that. Um, so I went to a shop. I can't name the shop, but it's a shop where you buy lots of DVDs, movies, some games, some merchandise and things like that. I can't advertise the shop. I don't think I am allowed, so I won't. But I went into it and I couldn't find the section I was looking for so I went to ask um, a shop person hello and he said yes and I said I'm hoping you can help me I'm looking for something and he said yes what are you looking for and I said I'm looking for a DVD that is about pilots and he said pirates I said no no pilots he said, oh, pilots. I said, no, pilates. Pilates? 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 And he said to me, what you're looking for 
is a DVD about Pilates. I don't know, pilots. He said, what is it for? I said, it's, it's, um, it's like yoga. You know, yoga, but it's pilots, right? <laughs> I think he was trying to not laugh. You know, you could see he was dying to laugh. He said, yes, it's Pilates. And I was adamant. I said, no, it's Pilates. <laughs> and then he got someone to, to come over and he said, isn't it called Pilates? And the other person said, yes, it's Pilates. It's a form of yoga. I said, yes, exactly. <laughs> so anyway, they didn't have any DVDs. <laughs> I'll have to search online. But how embarrassing was that, you guys? Embarrassing. And I was so adamant. It was pilots. <laughs> In some ways, I still think it is. I don't know if they were having me on. Please tell me in the comment section below. Is it said pilots or pilates? If it is pi, type i i i i i. If it's Pilates, type e e e e e e e e e. I'd be very interested to hear what you guys think or what you know. I don't know. English is not my language. So I would be interested. Thank you very much. Okay, and the next thing, I went into another store uh, looking for magazines. And I found one. I fell in love with it. Not because of the projects that were on there. Well, there was one thing I really wanted to make. One thing out of the whole package. It's one thing I want to make. Isn't that crazy? The magazine is £10. I don't know how much that is in American money. Around 10 to $12, maybe a bit more. I'm not sure. But isn't that crazy? I spent all that one project so I will show you am I the only person that does that buy a magazine only for one thing all right so here's a magazine it's all very Christmassy there's a lot of things there's a, a Santa knitting version and a crochet version I will show you there it is knitting and crochet and look at the Santas this one is the crochet version, and this is the knitting version. There's a lot of things here, lots of yarn. But the thing I want to do is this. And at the back, here is the pattern. This is what I want. Oh, I've, cr I've crinkled the paper now, so my guinea pig is getting excited. I can see him looking at me. Carrot, 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 carrot. This is all he goes crazy for. Carrots. <laughs> so I will pause now. I will give him some carrot, and I will be right back. So now I will show you some whips. Work in progresses. I just, um, I'm going to show you two items. So the first one is a jumper, a sweater I'm making for a lady and there's a matching hat with it. Uh, I was talking about it in a previous video where I will be working with black and I'm so dreading it. But I love the pattern so much that I said, yes, I will do it. It's for a customer. So I will show you what the, the the sweater is like, like this. There's a lot of cabling work in here. And the hat is here. And I just love cables so much that I said, yes, I will do it. It's only until later I realized when I got home and actually doing a video about it that I realized, darn, it's black. I was so sure it was the same color as this. I didn't look in the bag. I just thought, right, yes, I'll do it. 
but it's black so anyway I've started and I'm about this much almost finished with the back I'm so pleased because it's just stuck in that stitch and it's driving me crazy because it's so boring to do I can't wait to start on the front where it'll be all cables and a lot of fun so here's the back so far it's nearly finished Here it is, and it, the, um, the ribbing section is done in red, and I just love that. I would have never thought to do something like that, where you just do the ribbing section at the, in a different color. What a great idea. So, there it is, red, and just black. There we are, this is for the arm section. So another, that much to do. And it's done, and I can start on the front. I'm really excited to start on that front. I can't wait. And that might be today. <laughs> I mean, I'm really hoping so. I, I really just love it so much. My second work in progress is my beautiful shawl that I am working on and honestly you start with I think it's just yeah you start with three stitches and you end with 311 stitches and I made a note I'm only up to 119 stitches so I have a lot to go go through and well hopefully very soon I'll be able to show you it as a finished item I probably will be wearing it too so but for now this is the shawl like this and it's done with that yarn that one there the one that looks like a guinea pig <laughs> there we are so here it is and I absolutely love how the colors are changing I really really am a big fan of it there we are this is it but the the bottom is curling at the moment but this is how it looks 119 stitches so far I just love how the colors transition and it is super soft so I can't wait to wear that I honestly I'm excited it, it's really fine though so it does take a lot of a lot of time to do so this yarn is super fine well it's it's a sock yarn so it is fine. I mean, I know there are more finer yarns out there, but this is, it just feels really fine and it, yeah. <laughs> I love it. It's really neat. Can't wait to show it uh, to you when it's all done. That'll be exciting, hopefully. <laughs> So now I will pause for a second because I am a bit nervous about my computer. Request section. I've had so many requests. Um, recently in one of my previous videos I was showing a hat that I had designed and, and I will make a tutorial very soon. A couple of people asked me if I could do it very very soon. So I said, yes, I will. So I guess this will be one of my very future um, tutorials. I have a preview of my next tutorial that will come up in a couple of minutes. If you bear with me, please. <laughs> so um, I was just looking at my computer just to make sure the video is still working and I think it is so we're gonna leave it at that 
So, the next thing I will show you is another request. And this time, there was a little doll, which I think think a couple only a couple of people spotted it but it was tiny it was there right there and they said can you please show the sleeping baby and could you share the link to it the link to the pattern to it so I said yes I will do that so here is the sleeping baby he fell on the floor I will try and do my best to show him to his to his best because he is super cute. It's a little amigurumi and it's a little sleeping baby which can be used for I made several like that for uh, baby showers and uh, also just as a gift. I made one in blue, I made one in pink and I made a couple which are um, neutral colors because they didn't know what the baby was so they wanted something neutral and this one here is blue and here it is, look at this little baby isn't he cute? there he is, say hello to the little sleeping baby and on the other side, there he is there like that he's supposed to lie down because he's a sleeping baby like this I just love this little baby so there is a pattern to it it's a paid for pattern but it is so worth it I will post the link in the description box below so feel free to check it out it is on Ravelry I believe I don't know if you can get it elsewhere but I, I'm sure if you google it you, um, you might be able to find somewhere else but I don't know I've got it in my Ravelry uh, library yeah or is it bookcase no it's library isn't it hmm <laughs> I don't know I will pause now and when I come back we will get to the very last section which is about uh, my next tutorial preview I'm very excited about this one very undecided what to call it but I'm very excited Okay, now I will show you a preview of what my uh, next tutorial will be. And it will be for a blanket, whether it's a baby blanket or a, a throw or a lap gun or a normal size bed blanket. That will be up to you. When I will do my tutorial, I will tell you the repeat number of stitches and uh, everything you need to know. So for this particular blanket, I have used some DK, which in the USA, I believe is like a number three sport weight. And I have used a bigger crochet hook that you normally would use with a, four, with a DK. With the DK, you use a 4 millimeter, but this time I used a 5 millimeter. And I think this could be done in any yarn you want. So if you want to use some iron weight, which would be in the USA, a number 4 medium weight, then I would suggest perhaps a 6 millimeter crochet hook. Um, and there we are. Very undecided what to call it, as I've just said. And looking at it, I think I might call it the cobblestone blanket. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. This 
cobblestone blanket <laughs> I've made it in white um, it is 3D and completely reversible and what I like about it is that um, once you've done the setup row there's one setup row to make after that it's a one row repeat one that's it just one row repeat it's that simple and yet it looks so good and a, a very effective so I hope you guys will like it and I will show it to you right now there it is there it is you guys so let's see if you can see it a bit closer there I don't know if you can see how 3D it is it is hard to show it on the cam isn't it no, there it is oh there we are now you can see how 3D this is look and so this is any side you like because if you turn it around it's the same on the other side as you can see completely 3D and completely reversible it feels really nice when you work with it it feels really nice when you do your stitches and it grows really quickly and as I said it's just a one row repeat so I know that my tutorial will not take long to make <laughs> and I don't think I will show how to make a border and actually if you look at this blanket even without a border it looks nice look at the edging it's nice and straight I don't think you need to add a border and just looks good right nice and straight so I don't think you even need to put a border on it just looks good as it is so I'm not totally done with this blanket yet I want it to be a bit longer because this is a baby blanket and it is 25 inches uh, uh, in its width and so far I think it measures 24 inches long but I want to make it a, a few more inches long so it can be big enough for a pram or a crib or something like that and, and then we'll see what I'll do with this blanket <laughs> and I have a few more ideas for other blankets which also have textured 3D um, patterns and one of them is reversible I just really really like texture and nice stitches that look complicated but in actual fact it's so easy to make so oh, there we are, this was my um, next tutorial and it will be coming up, the coming out I mean either tomorrow or Wednesday at the latest but I will try and make it for tomorrow I was going to do a segment in this video about Poundland yarn because a few people have asked me to do um, a, a review on it so they wanted basically for me to make some samplers and show it to the camera see how it works out so I've done that I've made a couple of swatches one is knit and one is crochet and I've decided that instead of doing it in this one I will do a separate video about a Poundland review. I hope you will join me in this video and that you will like it, comment and all that kind of stuff. So 
I'm done with that lovely chat, coffee, and yarny things. Hmm. And I still have to try this pure heavenly chocolate. Look! Pure heavenly chocolate. Salted caramel. I just love salted caramel. I love coffee, caramel, chocolate. This, all this is just an amazing combination. Chocolate like this with coffee. Mm. What, what more could a girl ask for, right? Apart from yarn, because we all need yarn. <laughs> uh, oh, talking of yarn, uh, I saw some people from the US talk about, um, was it Red Heart? I'm not sure, but something to do with cafe latte yarn. This I would love to try because just the name makes me want some. Cafe latte? Wow! I need to get myself some. I don't know where, so I will have to Google it. Um, and there we are. I hope you've enjoyed this little, this not so little I don't think, but anyway, this chat, video, and please do some likes, Thank you. Post some comments, questions, suggestions. Share with everyone you know. And also um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Um, what else was I going to say? <laughs> what else was I going to say? Oh, yes. I was going to say that um, I'm going to try and do something new because I know that a few people have commented on it that sometimes they like to see like a, a time stamp on when things are discussed. So in the description box below I will try and do an accurate time stamps on when various things are being discussed. Thank you very much for watching and until the next time, happy knitting and crochet everybody!